Hello everybody! It's a pleasure meeting you all here today. How are you? How's your days during quarantine? Well, today I would like to tell you a story of a magician and his name was Merrick. You know what? Merrick is actually one of David McKee's famous stories. Merrick's story is made into some series, just like the famous one you might know. Elmer the Patrick. And now I will tell you Melrick the magician who lost his magic. Once upon a time, there was a king, and the king had a magician. His name was Mary, and he worked for the king. He cooked meals, repaired things, painted the castles, worked in the gardens all by magic. He also helped other people. Merrick was very busy. Nobody worked except Merrick. One morning, Merrick got up late. He had to paint the king's bathroom and he was in a hurry. He said the magic words to make his bed. Sim, sim, salabim. But nothing happened. And he tried to say the words again. Sim, sim, salabim. Nothing. And Melrick was late. And this made the king was furious. They went into the bathroom. And Melrick said the magic words for painting rooms. Easy, wheezy, let's get busy. He tried and tried and tried, but nothing happened. The people went home to try to do their work without Melrick's help. But guess what? Most things went wrong. They didn't know how to cook meals, prepare things, paint their rooms, or work in the gardens anymore. <sighs> I must go and see Kra. My old teacher, Merrick said. And when Merrick wanted to go on a journey, he always traveled by magic. But you know what? This time, he had to walk. Old Kra lived in a cave in the mountains and Merrick had to climb for hours. And when he came to the cave, he was very hot and tired. <sighs> he sat down with Kra in front of the cave and told him his story. <laughs> That's the problem, Kra said. You did everything for them, but now they don't know how to do their work. You wanted to help, but look, they are helpless now. And Mary didn't say a word. And then his old teacher said, I can give you back your magic, but you must not waste it. And then Kra changed Mary into a bird. Go home now, Merrick, he told him. But don't waste your magic. And off Merrick went. And when Merrick got home, he saw some enemy soldiers. They wanted to get into the castle. And then Merrick changed himself from a bird into a magician again. Time for some magic, Merrick said. Presto Chenjo! And then he changed the enemy soldiers into cats. And the people in the castle opened the doors. The castle dogs ran after the cats and the cats ran away. And the people were very happy. Thank you, Merrick! Tomorrow you must paint my bathroom, said the king. 
Mary, please repair my chair. And shouted, "Don't forget my garden too." Quiet, please, Mary said. I'm sorry, I can't help you anymore. You must do your work without magic. I must not waste it. Finally, all people went home to do their work. They started to cook, prepare things, and to work in their gardens. While the king started to paint his bathroom. And what about Marik? Well, Marik still had to learn to make his bed. And that's the story. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Please stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.